inequality pressures rear their ugly head in a big, nasty, potentially destabilizing way. It raises the focus on corruption immediately. And so I would be remiss if I didn't at least contextualize South Africa in the global context and say South Africa actually, on Transparency International's rankings of roughly 140 countries, South Africa ranks 61. It means there's 60 countries that are thought to be less corrupt than South Africa. You might say, well, Vikram, you're comparing it to the world. It's not fair compared to the African continent. Well, on the African continent, South Africa is the eighth. There's room to be improved here, even within your local peers. Botswana is number one on the African continent, for instance. Um, the inequality concerns, throw in a little bit of the migrant work, migrants showing up, plus the inequality concerns. I think Europe is vulnerable to crumbling. I actually think Brexit was the beginning of a long set of dominoes that are going to fall. They may not happen next year. They may not happen the year after. Within 10 years, we will have one of two outcomes, I'm pretty convinced. One outcome is we get the United States of Europe beholden to a central authority, presumably in Brussels. Or I think you end up in a totally different world, which is individual states with individual currencies. And it's a slow, painful process, but I think you end up going in that direction. My bet is in 10 years, we're going to end up on this side, not on this side. 